So there's a company out there that claims that when you miss putts, it's not your fault. They're saying it's the putter that you're using's fault. Let me explain a bit more. So the putters I'm gonna be reviewing are from a company called Lab, and it stands for Lie Angle Balance. And they reckon they've come up with putters that are perfectly balanced. Now, I'm not gonna show you them just yet. What I'm gonna talk about is the putter that I'm using. This is the Even Roll ER2 Black, and I absolutely love this putter. It's been in the bag for a couple of years. Now, Lab reckon that this putter isn't helping me, that no putter is helping by the ones that they make. And to prove that, they've sent me this thing. This is called the revealer. Now, if I attach my putter to this revealer, it's gonna show you something quite interesting. So I put my putter in, and if I take a stroke, watch what happens to the club head as I move it back. So it twists and turns and rotates, does everything but want to stay straight and square. Now, if I put one of the lab putters in this, watch what happens. See how that face is staying square? Now this isn't attached, this is, you know, it is literally attached by a hook at the top, but it's not fixed. And if I just straighten it up and stroke, look how that face is so much straighter. And apparently, this is that perfectly balanced putter. It's not fighting open or closed. So as a result, the face should be much easier to stay square. Now it's a mad design and it comes in two different designs. This oversized mallet, which is called the Directed Force 2.1T. And then this one, which is called the BLAD.1, which is a much more of a blade style, which comes in brass and stainless steel. I mean, that's quite interesting, but let's be honest, this one is the one that I want to give a go of. So I'm going to hit some putts with it. I'm going to see how it feels. It's very unusual shaped. It has been in the bags of tour players such as Adam Scott. And he's had putting issues in the past, so he must trust it to some degree. Even the, the, the whole premise of it, the shaft looks like it's set back into the head. The grip when it sat onto the club looks like it's not straight. But when you line that line up to the line on the front of the head, it is actually straight. It does intrigue me. Now, that intrigue is one thing. But the other thing to note is the price of these. The $425 which is pricey for a putter. I mean, that puts it right up there with the most premium putters you can buy. So for that, you'd expect it to do some decent work. Let's test it. Let's see how I get on with this. Directed Force 2.1 putter. Okay, so the hooks are out and it's now time to test it. It's, like I mentioned before, it is such an unbelievably different shape putter. And the idea is just it's, it's supposed to be just perfectly balanced like there's no bias like you'll see a lot of putters they'll either be toe hang or heel hang or really ha aggressively toe hang or face balanced this that doesn't have a balance really at all it's quite interesting right let's see how it works massive head not only from front to back but also huge face like from toe to heel it's absolutely massive pretty easy to line up See how I get on with it. Right, how mad is that? I've got one that's hanging on the lip on the left, one hanging on the right. Can I split the middle with this third ball? <laughs> Just initial thoughts on it. It's a, like I mentioned, it's a big head. It feels light though. It doesn't feel heavy. It, does, it feels okay. It doesn't feel super premium and, or soft off the face. What it does, however, give me confidence in, it feels stable. Like it doesn't, it's, I know it sounds daft, but the putter does not feel like it's twisted. I know the whole idea of it, but I can kind of sense that even on those first few hits. I'm gonna test it a little bit more. I'm not sure how convinced I'm going to be just yet. However, what I am really interested to see, what is it like on long range putts? Because I feel that's where it's going to have the biggest advantage. When you've got a putter that's swinging back and forth quite a lot, when you've got to time the face, could a putter like this be better for long putts? We'll test that in this video.
So after testing this putter, I've got to say, the performance was outstanding. Unbelievable. I spent time on this putting green. I hold the world. It feels unbelievably stable. I feel like as soon as the ball starts rolling off the face, it stays on a really true line. It doesn't feel like it twists at all, which is the whole story behind this putter. There are some downsides. It's not a nice looking putter. It's quite ugly. This model, and also I tried the other bladed model as well. Both of them are very ugly. Don't suit my eye at all. And also sound wise, this just sounds a bit too tingy. Again, not the biggest fan of that. But I honestly think Lab have something here. I think the technology behind this kind of perfectly balanced putter is going to go somewhere. I'd be interested to know what designs they're going to come out with, maybe one that will catch my eye. But if you are looking for a putter that's stable, this should be right up there for one that you look for. Now, I mentioned at the start of the video, the big downside is that the price. It is really in Scotty Cameron, Odyssey Toulon range. But I've got to say, when it comes down to performance, this could top it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. Unbelievably impressed with this putter.